Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy day. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Um, I want to be a priest because I want to be like a, one of God, teach other people God. So but there's not so many people know about God. What do you think would be the coolest thing about being a priest? Um, I think it would be like serving the bread to other people, even like giving money to the poor too. Our schools are one of the great means of evangelization, of catechesis, uh, of transformation for, for the people that we serve. Forming the heart, educating the mind, transforming lives. I love being a priest, I think most of all, because I have the joy and the honor of, of being Christ to people. I try, and I think all of our parishioners here try to make this a place of love. Do you like to go to Mass? Yes. What's your favorite part of Mass? Well, don't want to die All children have that innocence, that natural acceptance and faith and openness to God. And I can say every child in that classroom has that feeling. These children, whatever their situation is, I have the opportunity to look at that child and to help them understand that they are loved. Really, any kind of giving, it's not about money, it's not about anything worldly. It's about love, and the more love you give, the more love you get. What's that phrase, uh, pass it on? My father taught me that long before that phrase ever became popular. As a kid, I can remember growing up, my father liked to work on cars, especially brakes. Whether it was neighbors, whether it was uh, family members, whether it was people he worked with, he would do a brake job or whatever, and would never take any money. He would always just say, do something nice for the next person. And I, that was instilled in me at a very early age. And it all begins with understanding that we owe everything to God. That's the rootedness of stewardship, discipleship, that everything we have and everything we are is a gift from God. And so if we truly recognize that, uh, then we're going to be much better about, about giving of ourselves, of our gifts, our talents, our treasure for the sake of others. It helps us to go beyond the boundaries of our parish or the four walls of our parish. And so being able to contribute to something larger than just my parish is so vital for our Catholic identity. I think the appeal is critical because there are some things that we as a church cannot do individually, e either as individual persons or individual parishes. For example, the education of future priests, for the care of infirmed and retired priests. Every parish can't have a seminary, every parish can't have a retirement facility. But we're called upon those to do those things, and we do those things together. And that's why I think we call it a united Catholic appeal. We are united together to do the work of the church, to serve others on a broader scale than just individually in a parish. I think a lot of what our ministries here are doing, our Habitat for Humanity Project, our St. Vincent de Paul Society, our school, our formation programs, everything that we're doing, we're doing it all because we belong to each other. That when one part of the body of Jesus is in need, the rest comes to the rescue. A lot of times we want to see the fruit of our labor, we want to see where our money is going. But in this campaign, a lot of times you don't see that because you are educating people that you don't know who they are. And that's a beautiful thing because then it's truly giving. Always God said, like, love one another. That's what I always do. Like, like you have to 
give something up. And that's why it's all about love. All for the sake of others. That's, um, that is what we're about. My hope is as an educator, first and foremost, that they leave here growing their friendship with Jesus. Because if they have that, then they're going to be able to do all the other things that God has in store for them. They will know we are Christians by our love, by our love. They will know we are Christians by our love. They will know we are Christians by our love, by our love. They will know we are Christians by our love. Mm -hmm.